always say this to you guys at some point I'm gonna hit the stop streaming button forever Thanks for some skin trend. I promise it won't be today and it won't be tomorrow Thanks for watching guys Appreciate it Thanks for the gift sub It's meme. weird to say but the hardest decision I ever made was picking between YouTube and Twitch this music is really powerful. Like it should be. Feels like there should have been harder things. There's like good breakups. One. I had to choose what college I went to, what job I had, where I moved. Those were scary too, but this feels like I'm giving up the most. Cuz Twitch means a lot to me. I love Twitch. He was the I number really one did. most subscribed streamer on Twitch for a time. And before anyone just thinks that the reason I left was because of money, let me sit you down. And let me tell you exactly what happened. Oh, God damn. Thank you, you see, Kira. Hope you like it. My partner contract with Twitch I ended really appreciate in it. November. It actually ended right around when I was in Italy. And during those times, I was talking to Twitch and I was talking to YouTube, as you do. And originally, I was like, I'm just going to chat with YouTube. To, stank. Deal, to buff my Twitch deal and then and killer Twitch. elite because I'm a Twitch guy. There are people out there who think of Twitch and they think of me. When I think of my own identity, I, I think of Twitch. The face of Twitch, baby. And then I started chatting. I think there is some small meat. Probably impossible. And the more I did, the more I realized that YouTube made more sense for me. Like, I love streaming. But what actually makes me the happiest... Content. ...is just making dope shit. Mm. Making things that I think are cool. And hopefully some other people out there think they're cool too. Makes Risa Mill and Risa like Guapo. The money. Things like the, the Christmas album. <clears throat> you know? The, the kickball tournament. Any of these ideas that take a lot more time and effort than just booting up stream and reacting to something or playing super auto pets or whatever. Yeah, that's some lazy shit. Just I agree. It makes me happy garbage. I'm proud of. Trash. And if I stayed with Twitch, the we the, I like I can't get into the specifics, but the way the deal was structured is I would have to be grinding hours. Again, I I can't get into the details. But YouTube Thanks offered the me more IW. money than Twitch. I'll just say straight up, they offered me more money. All right, so here's something I'll touch on real quick. Uh, Toast recently came back, and he made a statement saying that Twitch's contracts are one thirtieth the money that other streaming platforms are. Now, as a lot of you know, I do have that company where we manage like content creators and stuff. Toast exaggerated a little bit, but Twitch's contracts are on average a tenth, uh, unironically a tenth of what most other contracts will offer. So when you see a lot of people switching platforms, a lot of times it'll be because of the money. I don't think in Ludwig's case it would be since he's already super rich. I think one of the main driving factors was the ability to like have a voice in what gets added to YouTube because they seem to actively try and implement those new features from streamers, whereas Twitch has a separate department for that that doesn't really talk to streamers from what I can tell. I think Twitch has a much better partnership relationship. Like all of the Twitch partner managers and everything are really receptive, but they don't have a say in what makes it onto like the platform and the features. Like for example, the boosting stream feature that went against everything in the Twitch council. You remember when Twitch announced their council, like where they're going to have like co carnage Zarian and all them like come in and voice of the streamers and the people make like their decisions. They just went by all of that and haven't done shit with it. It seems like they make their decisions without streamer input, whereas YouTube actively listens to it and tries to take their feedback into consideration. I think that would be one of the biggest things that would drive someone of Ludwig's size to YouTube and less about the money, even though it's a substantial difference in what Twitch offers compared to everything else. Both. Oh, and thanks for the reset, Boney, Sun Hat, and Donut. Hey, Donut. Hope you're doing well, man. Platforms had me. Thank you again, Kiara. Holy amount fuck. Of hours. That was the original. Happy period. birthday, Tommy. And even then, with the same amount of money, I talked to every single person I knew. My mom. I talked to like all the creators I respect. I, I talked to Mizkif for advice. Mizkif. I was like, Hey, can you give me <laughs> advice, Mizzy? And he's like, what the, what the hell are you talking to me for? I don't know. I don't know.
don't know. I called up old friends. I called up Bobby Scar. Is your sub char? I, I talked to everyone I knew because I I was I, I I was at a loss. But he I did hit me up, up about it. Deciding to go with Twitch, which might seem backwards after the news, after what you've probably seen, because that's not what reality is now. And after I decided, the, the main decision maker, I didn't know what to do after talking to all those people. I won't spoil it. I know what he did. So I did what I normally do. I flipped a coin. Mm-hmm. Amen. I even recorded the entire thing. I basically made Andrew the biggest decision of my life. Smog and now for and a content Prime game. Kirk. Heads. I go to YouTube. Tails. I stay on Twitch. Now, surprisingly, <laughs> you might have noticed that it landed on Twitch. Yet, this is not the news story that came out today. Ludwig re-signed with Twitch. That's kind of not that exciting. Is there some conspicuous? And that's because right after the coin flip, I felt a wave of relief. Which made me think it was the right decision. And so, I was happy with it. And I went to the guys at YouTube. And I, and I said, look, I want to hop on a call with you guys. Because I, I respect you. I think you guys are doing cool things at YouTube. I really do think that. But I'm going with Twitch. And they fought for me. And I realized in that moment that even though I've been with Twitch for three plus years, even though people call me the golden boy of Twitch, I've never Do felt people call like him the that? golden boy of Twitch. I've never felt particularly loved by Twitch. That's cute. I love Twitch, but it hasn't been a two-way street. Thanks to be some soggy and bubba. You know, I. it sounds so selfish. Right, like I'm making a shit ton of money. I, 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 a lot of people. I have a lot of fans. Everything's going well, but I feel like a whiny eight-year-old child who just wants some approval from a parent, and I never got that. I never got reached out to after the subathon. Not even like a hey, you made us the most money anyone has ever made us in a month. Thanks. None of that. I never got anything. But I love the culture of Twitch. Thanks, Risa. Um, and YouTube, De Niro. They gave me something when I came back. It was like some insane accidental negotiation tactic. They allowed me to stream way less hours a month. And that maybe you're thinking, are you just trying to, you know, rest, invest, as they say, basically do less work and get more money. But... It gives me more time to do cool shit that I'm super excited about. It gives me more time to work on the yard. Make a new mogul money show that I can actually do every single week. And I don't have to go live trying to fill hours so I can make enough money so I can do these cooler ideas. I want to make the That's biggest That's true, I guess. That's and I'm pretty big. To, in 2022. I want to have the biggest prize pool, the most entries ever, guns in the prime melee guns. and ultimate. I want to do that. But this is going to cost me probably a million dollars. And I was thinking of ways to make a million dollars sash. so that I could spend a million dollars without it being dumb. And I was thinking about doing another subathon. That sounds fucking lit. Doing like a subathon, <clears throat> doing like a subathon <clears throat> in person. 60 days. Some expansion on the idea when I decided to go with Twitch <clears throat> because I needed more money to be able to do a cool idea. Yeah, I have mine's probably dead. I was like, why, why am I giving up a really month know. of my life? And so I went to Twitch, and I did the same thing that I did with YouTube. I said, hey, I decided on YouTube. <laughs> they just said, all right, see ya. And no disrespect to the guys I talked to, or Twitch as a whole. The guys who I talk to don't get to decide everything. Mm -hmm. They are not... Twitch. Twitch is a giant multi-thousand employee company. There's 18 pipelines things have to go through before they can get done. You, know, it, you have an idea. It won't be executed for 10 months and it will look nothing like what you originally thought. I know all this. But it still fucking hurt when they said, we wish you the best. That's something. All right. So cool. He's talking about it. Uh, like I said, I've had nothing but positive experiences with like the partner team and the people I talk to at Twitch. But the... Actual people that make the important decisions don't give a fuck 
about like what streamers do on their platform. They don't get excited and they don't like fight for streamers. Ludwig is the number six earning streamer on all of Twitch. And they weren't ready to fight for him. On Stan's show, he mentioned he wanted one feature from Twitch. And this probably would have kept him here. He wanted Twitch to cap the amount of gift subs his channel could receive. Because he felt guilty when people would donate too much money to him through gift subs. So he asked them, can you just cap it for my channel? And they said no. They wouldn't budge on anything. And then when he did say, like he just mentioned here, I'm going to YouTube, they're totally fine with it. I think Twitch believes they're in this position where they're a monopoly. So losing Ludwig's not a big deal. He also mentioned he talked to people, so I'll talk about it. A lot of streamers have been talking to each other about switching platforms, and a couple of them have made that decision, and I think a lot of you are going to be shocked at the next couple that are leaving. It's Twitch needs to understand that most people want to stay on Twitch. Like, I love Twitch, Ludwig loved Twitch, but when you're not willing to fight for them or make it competitive, it's really hard to want to stay on that team. Like, it's it's tough and you can kind of see in Ludwig's face like it hurts it does so for streamers like Ludwig who've dedicated like their whole life to streaming to like not even have them bother trying to keep them is rough like it absolutely helps sway his decision one way or the other as you just mentioned he went to YouTube saying I chose Twitch and they completely changed the contract added things to it to make him want to go to you to YouTube more they fought for him and they never even had him on the platform to begin with it's just I don't know I totally see where he's coming from and uh it's been a pretty fucking crazy ride here to see the Ludwig adventure. He did hit me up about it, and I couldn't even imagine that kind of pressure, like that kind of situation. Thanks to Tier 1 Autumn and the Tier 1 Luke, and the Risa Pitticus and Wart and River. And so although I love Twitch, and I always thought of myself as a Twitch guy, they're not going to help me make the shit I want to make. I don't feel especially liked, respected, wanted. And I also don't want to do something because it's comfortable. The main thing holding me back from YouTube was fear. YouTube's not Facebook. No offense. <laughs> it's not Mixer. It's fucking YouTube. It's like the biggest There's some website Croesus, in the Donatello world. Donatello and Kiana. Content. But it's scary. And I made a pros and cons list. And the one con I had for YouTube is that I'd feel alone. That's the biggest scared. thing. That is the biggest thing for sure. But it's crazy not to do something just because you're scared. And I re So here, before he continues, I recommended Ludwig stay on YouTube. I thought, or sorry, stay on Twitch. I recommended that Ludwig stay on Twitch. I just felt like Ludwig, his whole brand was so synonymous with Twitch culture, it made the most sense. But as he explained, like, more of it to me, I totally understand his side. Like, I, I absolutely get it. And as he mentioned, a big thing is Twitch's reluctance to fight to keep streamers. Like, it's, it's tough to want to stay when it doesn't seem like they care one way or the other. You know what I mean? But yeah, my advice to Ludwig was to stay on Twitch. Thing else makes it seem like the right decision. And so if it takes a coin flip in an insane There's negotiation tactic in the for me to stop being a pussy, then so be. I don't know if this will be cohesive. I'm recording this right after my last ever Twitch stream. And now I'm a YouTube gaming streamer. Twitch is not going to feed his ego good luck on YouTube. Man, like that, what do you mean? It has nothing to do with feeding an ego. YouTube is a significantly bigger platform than Twitch on the whole. Period. It's not even close. YouTube dwarfs Twitch. And YouTube went out of their way to accommodate Ludwig. They wanted to like say, like, we do want you here. Twitch wouldn't do the bare minimum, which was a single ask. And it wasn't even a big ask. They just refused to and then just wished him on his way. Shoot him away. Like, that's not the same as feeding an ego at all. Like, it's just not even close. And here, take for, let me do, let me give you another example. Ryan uh, Fwiz, the face of YouTube gaming. He is always on Twitter hyping up every streamer, every stream he's talking about. It's like he always knows what's going on on his platform at all times. 
Who does that for Twitch? Have you ever seen the CEO of Twitch ever do anything on the platform or talk about it besides just wear his tie and say that we're going to start looking at context, which they didn't do? You don't get that kind of excitement from Twitch. You just don't. Whereas the entire YouTube gaming side is always tapped into what's happening on their platform, celebrating things that happen on their platform. It's super different. Twitch just seems complacent to stay at the top, and they don't care if they lose number six Ludwig, uh, Tim the Tapman was number nine, they don't care. They'll just shoo them away, hey, we'll replace you at some point. Like, it's, it's, it hurts, and that's definitely one of the things that makes people leave. Not just the money. Yes, Twitch contracts are significantly smaller than the others, but it's also just that level of, like, we care, or we respect you, at the very least. That's, and now, I want to make it clear, that's only in, like, the deeper Twitch departments, I think all of the partner managers and the people that streamers actually talk to are great and better than on YouTube. I think Twitch has great access to people in the company, but not like the most powerful people in the company. The ones that are actually making decisions like adding the boost feature and adding other features nobody wants and stuff like that. Those people don't communicate with the people on the platform. Pluto is a great example. Pluto is fucking great for Twitch. But there's not many people like that. And they're not the ones that are the ones that are actually making the decisions on who to keep on the platform and who to actually fight for. And I don't even play video games. <laughs> Easy tier one I Floyd. Don't think they know about Recruit that. Yet, the prime but let's slice. That five gives them Stenero. I've worked really hard, by the way. If you guys haven't heard I know, Fuiz, yeah. Auto. I watched it. We made an extension together that's just trying to make the experience on YouTube better so all those subs that you had on twitch are now combined with subs on youtube the memberships the name you have you can now change it to your twitch name if you want the emotes will be exactly like twitch emotes i just want to make it as seamless as possible because I, I don't want to lose chat along the way that's the reason i like streaming i lose chat i, I lose the, the the love i have for streaming true Thanks to tier one, Drowsy. Reset and I red. promise that extension will only get better. So if you guys haven't already, check it out. It's honestly worth your while. Auto put a lot of time into it. We're going to start adding some cool features like channel points. But it'll be our own custom channel. Okay, now I'm just watching an advertisement. But yeah, so those were really the big things. What I just mentioned a moment ago. Pretty fucking crazy circumstance. And he's not the last big one that's moving. Finish it? Is there more? I thought it was just going to be more of an ad. So I'll be able to scale the economy. He's a ruthless businessman. To ourselves. On ban forms coming in, included in the the overall package. There's also things I haven't talked about. Some secrets and surprises. Maybe you guys will find out. But I can promise you one thing. But I can promise you one thing. I've been streaming for about... Four years part-time, almost four years full-time, and I said I'd only stream five. <clears throat> I'm sorry to say I'm Ooh. scamming you one more time. I'll be here for at least six. Anyway, boys, I hope you understand a little bit more. Thanks, Arisa Bray. Hopefully Ray. you respect the decision, and hopefully you come to hang out on YouTube Gaming. Uh, Thanks for five I've always subs, been like a streamer and a YouTuber. Not a lot of streamers can say the same. And that's always going to be the, case, the the same case. I'm still going to be a streamer, and I'm still going to be a YouTuber, and I'm going to try to make even cooler shit this year. Thanks for watching, as always, boys. And hopefully I see you in the streams. It's adorable. Thanks, Arisa, Philbo, and Jetstream. I'm staying on Twitch. Uh, I... I'm, I'm not like a big announcement or anything coming up. Just a heads up. I, I see people are getting the wrong idea. I fucking love Twitch. I just wish they'd actually like fight for people like Ludwig. Instead of just say, yep, that's fine. Bye bye. Like it's, it's trash. Like I, I don't like that. And it's not the people that actually communicate with streamers that make that decision. Like he mentioned, everyone he talked to was great. It's the people in those departments that treat Twitch like a faceless entity. Until the contract is up. My contract is up. You'll notice I haven't played any ads or anything for like the last month or so. My contract's up. I'm just staying on Twitch. Like, because I like Twitch.
There's a prime doe. And a bit's Liam. I'm not sure, Tori. What do you think this means to the platform? Nothing. I I think even if XQC tomorrow announced that he was the next one leaving, I don't know if he is or anything like that. But if he announced that he was leaving tomorrow, Twitch wouldn't fight for him. They wouldn't care. They'd actually probably be relieved because they probably look at him as a brand risk. They have banned that guy fucking 30 times or some shit by now. They would not care. That is the impression I get from that department. They do not care. They have lost... What is it, five of the top 25 streamers over the last six months? I think that's right, right? Tim the Tatman, Ludwig, Dr. Lupo is in the top 25, right? Uh, Courage, I uh, no, Courage, he, he wasn't on Twitch. He was on YouTube for like the last year. I don't know what I'm talking about. They've lost quite a bit. Ray left a while ago. Dr. Disrespect got banned without even like a single peep on why or what was going on. Apparently he doesn't even know. They've lost a lot, but they don't really care. This is the resub, your boy Verzel on Eggnog and Eisen. Wouldn't losing big streamers hurt their platform? I don't know what the stat is. I'd have to relook, but I remember a couple of years ago I was reading that the top 1% of Twitch make up 90% of the platform's overall revenue. So you would really think they'd care more when someone like Ludwig is saying, look, I'm, I'm thinking about YouTube. Is there anything you do to let me start to you know, make me want to stay, and them just saying, no, nah, we just wish you the best. You think that they'd, like, go a little harder for it. Those viewers would just watch Ms. Saikuna or you. That's cute that you put me in that list. But that's only if they stay as well. Maybe they'd leave too, and then where are they going to go? They'll eventually switch to YouTube. And as more streamers leave Twitch and more streamers see, like, oh, YouTube's pretty viable, my friends are over there, they'll go to YouTube without even a contract. That's the long-term play. Thanks to resub S. Now, I'm not going to say who all is leaving. I just, from... The people that have been talking, because obviously a lot of streamers talk to each other about what they should do next, I do know there are a couple more that are going to be making that switch. Thanks to Resub Allen. Thanks to the Prime Bennett. Thanks to Resub Hyperlight. Would you still do stuff with Lud? Oh, fuck yeah. The only thing I know I can't do with Lud is Hive Mind now. Because Hive Mind is a Twitch show. So it looks like Hive Mind's over, which is rough. But yeah. I don't know who all is going to be switching like next. All I know is that from the talks I've heard, there are a couple more that will most likely be doing it sometime in the next few months. There's a tier one, Frank. I know, man. Hide mine was a lot of fun. Get Wubby. Maybe Wubby switches. Wubby still doesn't have a contract from Twitch. He has the most gift subs of all time. Maybe Wubby switches next. Wubby also has a huge YouTube audience. See, like, that's the thing. All of these creators, they, they're not, like treated super well from that department on Twitch. So you don't know who's like going to stay. The more people like Ludwig that show that YouTube is viable, the more people consider going to YouTube in general. Thanks to the resub soar. Oh, HQ trivia did have some banging hosts. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> 
Nick Merckx is not leaving to YouTube. He just signed like a five-year deal with Twitch. Thanks, the resub gutter. And stopping you from moving to YouTube? I like Twitch. I really do like Twitch. But I just wish they would do more to keep someone like Ludwig on. Like, at least a little bit. He, did, he didn't have a big ask for them. He really didn't. They only needed to do the bare minimum, and they just wouldn't. <laughs> 